There are many options as far as what the parts store may offer as a loan and tool program. This particular one here is a gauge, pressure gauge, and flow meter combination. Next to it is your standard pressure gauge. Uh, we can do our pressure test with this. Uh, to do a volume test, it's, it is strictly a rule of thumb. It's not real accurate because of the setup of the, of the gauge. And then here's just another option of a pressure gauge that may be available to you. Most of today's vehicles have two line fuel lines going to the engine. One is a pressure line, one is a return line. We will be checking pressure, obviously, on the pressure line. You will have to determine which line is your pressure line, refer to the vehicle manufacturer service manual. On the underside of the power distribution box is a schematic showing that where the fuel pump relay is in the actual fuse box. Uh, we'll remove that relay. So we're going to crank the vehicle and what this does is it'll drain the pressure without the fuel pump running. You can hear it attempt to start but it's low on pressure. Okay, now that we've drained the pressure out of the system, we'll open up the system and install our pressure gear. This vehicle doesn't have a Schrader port to access fuel pressure, so we will have to actually open the system up and install our pressure test gauge. Remove this safety clip. Take a rag and kind of stick it in here to catch any fuel that may drip out of the line. Once we've got our retainer tool installed, simply pull the line off. And now, you need to hear the audible click, make sure it is seated. And we'll, and we'll hook up our pressure gauge. reinstall our fuel pump relay, cycle the key, now we'll start the vehicle and see our running pressure. As you can see we're at right at 50 psi. You need to refer to vehicle specs to determine if this is the correct fuel pressure. You need to time the release at about 15 seconds and after about 15 seconds and at this point we can look at pressure at rest, residual pressure. Uh, if this pressure drops off very quickly, you could experience a hard start issue. You might monitor this for about 15 minutes. Uh, after 15 minutes, if you're still holding a good residual pressure, then your check valve in the pump and the pressure regulator are functioning properly. We can start the vehicle and allow the pressure to bleed off so we can remove our fuel pressure gauge. Install the removal tool and slowly slide the line apart, noting that there may be some residual pressure yet in the system. That's the reason why we want to rag underneath the fuel line fitting to be able to catch that. Now after we've removed our test fittings, we'll remove the rag, then we'll take the fuel line and we'll right hear it snap back on like we did. That point is reinstalled and the system is reconnected.